Mauritania's leader arrived in Senegal in the early hours of Thursday morning. President Aziz hopes his shuttle diplomacy will result in a peaceful end to the political crisis in the Gambia. He and Senegal's Macky Sall met President-elect Adama Barrow to reiterate their support for him. Hours earlier, President Aziz was in the Gambia to convince Yahya Jammeh to step down as leader. Afterwards, he said he was hopeful that military action to remove Jammeh would not be necessary. I had a consultation with my brother, President Jammeh, and I am now less pessimistic. We will work on a peaceful solution, which is in the interest of everyone in Gambia. President-elect Barrow was due to be sworn in on Thursday at the National Stadium in the Gambia. The Senegalese foreign minister says the inauguration will now take place at the Gambian embassy in Senegal. President-elect Barrow will be sworn in on Thursday on Gambian territory. He'll form his government, he'll name his vice president, and the international community will join him. Jame has ordered the arrest of officers who supported Barrow and those that are not from his own Jola ethnic group. Jola have mostly voted for Jame during the election and the Medinka majority for Barrow. Analysts say Jame loyalists will stick with him till the end. The two groups particularly that I'd be concerned about if I were in Gambia would be the Jungle, which is a paramilitary group, and then the State Guard, which are effectively his private police. And those people are very loyal, and I wouldn't be surprised if he finds himself cornered by um, African troops that they put up a bit of a fight. West African countries are threatening military intervention to remove Jame if he does not step down. Soldiers from five nations are on standby, including Nigeria, which has moved a naval ship and fighter jets closer to the Gambia. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.